Hello friends, we are going to draw a flow chart to print the multiplication table. I am going to use two variable n is for the table, which table we are supposed to print. So n stands for table, r stands for range up to which number we have to print this multiplication table for example n is 5 means 5th table r equal to 10 means up to the value 10 that means 5 into 1 equal to 5 to 5 into 10 equal to 50 for this we are going to draw a flow chart so this is the Logical start of the flow chart. I am appending two inputs input N for the table, R for range. Now, I am initializing a variable that is a loop variable i equal to 1. So, here I am having a decision statement. If i less than or equal to r, if the condition is true, if the condition is true, I am printing. Printing the variable n followed by the asterisk symbol, the string followed by i, the value of the variable i followed by the equal to symbol followed by n multiplied with i. So this is the print statement. I will tell you how it works. So initially I am giving value n equal to 5 or equal to 5. So first line it will set i equal to 1. Equal to 1. So it will check i less than or equal to r. That means 1 less than or equal to 5 is true. In the same, it will print value of n. This is 5 and star symbol and i value. So, i equal to 1 equal to symbol n star i. That means what is the value of n? n equal to 5, i equal to 1. That is equal to 5. We print like this. For this purpose, I am writing this print statement. Next, I am incrementing i by 1, i equal to i plus 1. Okay, so I am connecting the flowchart back to the decision statement. It works like a Loop. If i less than or equal to r is true, then you print n value of variable n multiplication operator value of variable i equal to symbol and n star i. So i will get incremented, it will check. So the process will go continuously until i less than or equal to r is true. If i less than or equal to r is false, means 
I am ending this flowchart with the logical star. So this is my flowchart. So this is a logical star. I am obtaining the values for the variable n and r. n for the table, r for the range. I am initializing a value i equal to 1 and I am checking i less than or equal to r. If it is true, I am printing print n star is a string followed by i, the value of the variable i equal to is a string followed by n star i. Again, I am incrementing i by 1. I am checking i less than or equal to r which is true. Again, it will be printed with the incremented value of i. So, this loop will go continuously until i less than or equal to r. If i less than or equal to r is false means, that means i greater than r. So, on this case, I am ending this flowchart with the logical stop. We will take a sample input and check how this flowchart works. So, logical start, I am obtaining the values for the variable n and r using this input statement. So, I am giving n equal to 5, r is a range is equal to 5. n decide which table I suppose to print. r stands for up to what range. Here, the table is 5, range is 5. I am initializing i by 1, i equal to 1. I am checking i less than or equal to r. So, i value is 1, r value is 5, i less than or equal to r is true. So, in this case, I am printing print n, n value is 5, star is a string which will get printed here, comma the value of variable i. So, what is the value of variable i is 1 or by equal to symbol which is printed here or by n star i. That means pi into 1 equal to 5. Now, I am implementing i by 1. So, now my i equal to 2. I am checking i less than or equal to r. 2 less than or equal to 5 is true. So, this is my output. I am writing output here. Print n value of the variable n equal to 5 into is the multiplication symbol string which is printed here. i. What is the value of i is 2 equal to n star i. That means 2 into 5, 10. I am incrementing i by 1. Now, i equal to 3. So, to check 3 less than or equal to 5 condition is true. So, to print n star i 3. I value is 3 equal to symbol n and i 15. So, the value of i will get incremented by 1. Now, my i equal to 4. If i less than or equal to r, 4 less than or equal to 5 which is true. So, print n 5 star is the string symbol i value 4 equal to is a string and n star i that means 5 star 4 20. Now I am incrementing i by 1 i equal to 4 plus 1 which is equal to 5. So I am checking the condition 5 less than or equal to 5 condition is true condition is true I am printing n 5 star is the string, i value is 5 equal to symbol, n star i is 25. Now, I am incrementing i by 1. So, i equal to 5 plus 1 which is 6. I am checking the condition, i less than or equal to r. 6 less than or equal to 5 is false, then control will come out, the flowchart ends. So, this is my my multiplication table, this is the output. For a table n equal to 5, the range is 5, up to which range? Range is 5, we have to print 5 into 1 equal to 5 to 
5 into 5 equal to 25. We get 100. You can give any table, any range, the flow chart will work perfectly. That's it. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, share, comment and press the bell button. Thank you.